Where they show you hatred, show them love. Where they go, scandalize your name. Please give them good name. Always remain a reference point. Remain exemplary. People have told me all sorts of things. People have said to me, if they've called me name, they've called me uh, president of um, mourning, president of condolences, president of... And I've written them back and said, oh, he's always going to where there's uh, burials. He's always going to burials. He doesn't even go to where there's feasting. And I always tell them, it is better to go to the house of mourning than go to house of feasting. It is this are the things that makes you a human being. When you attend burials, you know that this life is so temporal. It's what makes you a human being. You know that all those things you're acquiring, you don't need them. You should not acquire them. Especially when you acquire them wrongly. Those things will not last. It will not save you. So better use those things to help humanity. When you're giving public money to manage, manage it transparently. It is for benefit of public and everything. Stay with people who are in difficulty. Don't push people down. Don't look down on anybody unless you're going to pull the person up. Let us pull each other up. Let us stay with each other. Let us show love to ourselves and show that we're a country where people live and can live together, irrespective of their tribe. All of us are suffering. The North is suffering. The Southwest is suffering. South East is suffering. Nobody today, like I said before, buys bread cheaper. We all in it together. And if we work hard, the bread will come cheaper for everybody. The roads will be good for everyone. Lagos about the road will be good. Anyone in road will be good. Abuja Kaduna Road will be good. Kaduna, all the roads will be good if we do the right things. We'll travel together. I used to travel to London only to one airport, Kano Airport. I want to go back traveling like that. I want people to come to Port Harcourt because they want to do business, do their business and go. We can build a better country. If India is too large, but today people in Delhi are okay. People in Mumbai, people in all over India are living well. And they're doing things they want to do. He sent in, in Indonesia. He yeah, go to Bali. People are okay. People are okay in Jakarta. People are okay in other areas of the country. That's what it should be. Ours should not be a, a case of, oh, I'm from here. That by the other people should jump into the river. They shouldn't jump into the river. There's no color. There's no difference between a Yoruba man who is carrying a green passport and an Igbo man who is carrying a green passport. We are all the same. Our children who grew up in the same society, we must not divide them. We must live with them. And that's what I beg everybody. So everything I do, I showed you about Mr. Shonaikan, who I live with in a flat. He was a mother. He cared for everybody. We didn't know, we didn't know her as a Yoruba woman. I know her as mommy. My wife called her mommy. My children call her mommy. When we heard it died, everybody was feeling bad. On Thursday, I canceled everything I'm doing to go for a burial. She's being buried in London. My wife, my family, everybody will be there. So that's what we should do. That's how we should live. We shouldn't live where you say, oh, I say from this place, I say it's from there, and everything. No. It is one Nigeria. Let's be one. Let's respect each other. If David has problem, we have problem. Those people who are living in IDP camp in Nigeria are us. They're living through us. Unless they go back to their villages, Unless you go back to where they belong, all of us are in IDP camp. Anybody who tells you is happy when other people are suffering is an animal. Anybody who is eating and are happy when people are hungry an animal, Nigeria must be careful. 
and we must build a better Nigeria. God bless all of you. Bless Nigeria. Bless all those who work in it. All those who are trying to make it this. Please do not give up. Remain resolute, resilient. We will win eventually. God bless you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank That's you very much. Wow. After listening to this man yesterday, there was a relief. I felt this relief yesterday. As in, it's like something just relieved me from my stress, from everything I've been thinking about. Honestly, if I had listened to his speech, maybe in the church, if it was a pastor that was talking to me, I will be feeling that I have received the anointing, honestly. Yes, that was Peter Obi. Um, that was the conclusion speech where he engaged us yesterday in the Twitter space, on YouTube, and other social media platforms. The truth is this. This is the man we want. This is the man we need. We don't need any other thing. See, if we want a good Nigeria, Nigerians can make Nigeria better. We only need somebody who will be at the head, who will become president, that people will trust people, will say that, yes, this person is reliable. Honestly, this man is reliable, and we can't wait for this man to become the president of Nigeria and see transformation and see so many things that, that is going to happen in Nigeria. Honestly, Nigeria is going to be turn around. They will be turn around everywhere. So this is our wish. This is our prayer. This is what we have been praying for, that B2B will become our president. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll make time and come. Okay. Yes, oh. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.